Next destination is Kashan, which is located 270 kilometers from Tehran. Hotel provided us a taxi for $30 for the whole trip, with a stop for an hour at Finn Garden on the way to our hotel. The highway leads through desert countryside, tweaked in several places by views of the mountains and colorful volcanic rock formations, vaguely reminiscent of Cappadocia. Finn Garden is one of the most visited tourist sites of Ashan and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The garden was designed as a year-round recreational place during the rule of Shah Abbas I at the end of 16th century. The construction was completed by 1590, which made Finn Garden the oldest extant garden in Iran. The garden covers 2.3 hectares surrounded by walls with four circular towers. It's a traditional Persian garden that allowed dates back to the time of Cyrus the Great. One of the most prominent features is the principle of four gardens. Square garden is divided into four parts by waterways. They represent the harmony of four Zoroastrian elements, sky, earth, water and plants. Finn Garden includes two memorial buildings, the two-story pool house and the recreational pavilion which was built in the later Kaya period, and has a magnificent dome ceiling decorated with paintings. The garden is provided with water from a spring on a hillside next to it. The water pressure is enough to make fountains, pools and canals of the garden to work without mechanical pumps. The combination of water flows and large amount of greenery creates what Iranian call Eden, the Garden of Paradise. Right next to Finn Garden there is a small shop with the traditional delights where you can also have the snacks and drinks and the tea house of the garden. Presumably, Kashan city name comes from the Kasyan, the original inhabitants of the city, whose remains are found dating back 9,000 years. Between the 12th and 14th centuries, Kashan was an important center for the production of high-quality pottery and tiles. In modern Persian, the word for a tile, kash, comes from the name of the town. The introduction to the city, I would like to start with a small traditional hotel Nigin, where I stayed for a night. It's clean, bright, with a nice courtyard and tea sitting place for an evening chill out. We had a room designed in the traditional Persian style for a decent price of $30 per night. Did I tell you that my mom was traveling with me? She did enjoy staying in this hotel too. At any hotel in Iran, breakfast is included in the price. The beautiful restaurant in Nigin Hotel draws an attention with a bright Middle Eastern design and the big metal teapot on the buffet table. Kashan is known to be the city of scorpions and the gate of desert. It has been an outstanding location in terms of situation on the national roads network of Iran and along the main connecting roads of east, north and west provinces in the center. 
Wandering through the small streets of the old town was my favorite thing to do in Kashan. The narrow back streets hold many surprises and picture perfect sense. Here you can find gorgeous mosques as well as hidden ruins of the old town. One of the Iranian men passing by on the motorbike stopped by to show us the most interesting spots of the site. Iranians are very hospitable and friendly. I had many beautiful encounters during the trip. Agabazark Mosque is a historical mosque in Kashan, built in the late 18th century and constructed for prayers, preaching and teaching sessions, held by Mullah Mohammed Naraki, known famously by his title of Agabazark, literally meaning Great Lord, given to him by the Shah himself. The mosque is a gorgeous example of Kashan's 18th century tile walk and design. It has two towering Shia minarets and a magnificent brick dome. The Angabazork Mosque features three levels and its own courtyard. Sarai Miriha is a historical house in Kashan, originally built as a family residence during Zen dynasty for the governor of Kashan and has now been restored and transformed into a traditional style museum and hotel. Being the largest traditional house in Kashan, it has several interior and exterior yards, each consisting of pools and many rooms. It's a nice stop to escape the day heat and to have few cold drinks. Sultan Amir Ahmad Bath House is a traditional Iranian public hammam. Constructed in the 16th century during the Safavid era and renovated during the Kaya era. It has an area of around 1,000 square meters and consists of two main parts, the dressing hall and hot bathing hall. The interior of the bath house is decorated with turquoise and gold tile work colorful mosaic, plaster work, brick work, as well as artistic paintings. Every little detail of design, painting and patterns have a meaningful and spiritual story behind. In ancient Persia, bathhouses were built in the basement in order to maintain the heat and save the energy. The spiral corridors were made to block the view to the other parts of Hammam. The roof of the bathhouse is made of multiple domes that contains convex glasses to provide sufficient lighting into the bathhouse, while concealing it from the outside. The charming rooftop is a photography spot where you can also have an amazing view of the city. Kashan's traditional houses is perhaps one of the most apparent reasons Kashan gained fame for tourists and travelers. The Borojardi House is a historical house museum in Kashan. It was built in 1857 for the bride of Borojardi, a wealthy merchant, who was set a condition for the marriage to build the house as beautiful as the one of the father of his fiancé. The delightful decoration is made of stucco, glass and mirror work. You can see the plaster shapes of fruits, flowers and wall paintings by the skilled painter Kamal al -Mol. It totally took 18 years to finish house construction. They say about 150 craftsmen cooperated to build a true masterpiece of Persian residential architecture. The BTBI house was built several years later after Borojardi house and belonged to the family of Tabitabi, whose Borojardi fiancé came from. The same as with the previous house, it has its own love story behind. Jafar Tabitabi, who was a famous international carpet merchant in Kashan, built this house in the name of his wife. 
WTBI house took almost 10 years to complete. The 5,000 square meter complex entails four yards and consists of 40 rooms. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.